Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Mobby. Welcome to In the Evening with Mobby. And today, I am going to be bringing you Harvest Moon for the original Game Boy. Now, this is a little treat for me as well, because I'm very nostalgic with this particular game. Oh, it's doing some weird stuff here. This is my first Harvest Moon, and I actually have the original cartridge, and I played this so many years ago. 1998 is when it came out. So, um, the Evening with Mommy series is just going to be single videos, maybe like once or twice a week. And I'm just going to be sitting here relaxing and playing a game for about half an hour to an hour and just um, see if it's good or not. So, let's go ahead and play the first ever Harvest Moon game that I have played. Let us begin. Oh man, this brings back so many memories. I'm gonna go just straight up mad be here. Sick. We'll go male. <laughs> would you like a dog or a cat? I enjoy cats now, now that I'm older. But uh, back then I would always pick the dog. Cause look at it, it's so cute. It's so freaking cute. <laughs> oh, um, oh, you know what? A little Billy. A little Billy. Oh, I only have four letters for him. All right, Biley. Biley. So this is the story, it's very quick and simple. Mobby, wake up Mobby, I have a favor to ask of you. My ranch has been neglected because I do not have a successor, so I want you to take my place and restore my ranch and surpass me as ranch master. Unfortunately, I cannot help you because I am a spirit and at the end of winter I can come and check up on you. I must be going now, good luck. Future ranch master. Oh, I forgot to tell you that the crops will die when the seasons change. Be sure to check the date on the calendar. It is essential for growing crops. So that's pretty much it. Really easy, easy, simple game. This is the shipping box. Two ship crops. The trader will... It's moving on its own. The trader will pick up your shipment at 5 p.m. <laughs> so, guys, this is the original Stardew, alright? These two towers are silos. Used to store fodder on the right of the silos is the chicken coop and on the left is the cow barn got it yeah son brush your cows every day with love and affection if you do so your cow will give you a lot of milk of course do not forget to feed them every day as well make sure that you feed them every day. Otherwise, your chickens will not lay any eggs. Never forget. Never ever forget. This is the shed where your items are kept. Now, this is one of the bad things about this game. You can only hold like one item at a time. I'm a little tired, so you have to come here and change out, I think, whenever you need it. It's been a long time since I played this game, but welcome. So, and there is an actual like Game Boy Color version, but I'm playing the the black and white one because that's what I played with. Um, so what day is this? Let's see what happened. It's a uh, spring year one, so that is the calendar. Hello, little Billy. You can pick him up. It's so cute. You can drop him. You can leave him inside, or you can put him outside. Now, what's one awesome thing about this game is it's it's very simple. You know, there's you don't go to on these crazy adventures. It's a nice simple experience and back then on your Game Boy it was just a wonderful thing to just have a nice little chillax game here. You're not platforming or anything, you're just simming, you're farm simming. So with this TV you can check your fortune and you can check like um, the weather and stuff. So here we go. Warm every day. Tomorrow will be a fine day. So there you go. Uh, I forgot what this thing is. Let's see. Ah, so some of my possessions. We have a pet dog Billy. We have 500 bucks. We have croissants, rice balls, meat dumplings wild grape and green tea and all that good stuff all the food is pretty much at the beginning of the game where you when you eat and stuff like that so if i press start it's supposed to be switching my items um okay pet memo memo show the items that relate to the a button no okay so let's go check out my farm guys welcome to my farm now in this game there isn't really a i'm gonna go ahead and just destroy all this stuff because this is where my farm is going to be okay you hold b to run God dang, this game. Dude, oh my god. I used to play this so much. We can jump over it. And I would like to always, like, move these around. And it's just... It's insane. So you don't have, like, a health bar. 
visual health bar, but your character does get tired over time. There are ways to fix it you can eat, and later on you can do something like hot springs and stuff. So I'm going to go in my tool shed, and I'm going to go grab my tools. I'm definitely going to need a hoe. How, how, how? What is this? What's this? I forgot what this is. Turnips. Oh, so you can grab your bags if you want. We don't have anything yet, so we're going to have to go purchase it. And in here is going to be the... Well, this is pretty much like where the elves live and like the, the farm fairy lives. So, oops. Ouch, what are you doing? I'm trying to read it, man. I'm sorry. How's it going, dude? Hi, are you the one that inherited your grandpa's ranch? We are Harvest Sprites. We're here for a reason. Good luck, future ranch master. So, you're gonna have to go down here, and if you... Hold on. Let's meet this guy. Good evening. Humans great this way. Greet this way, don't they? Don't throw objects in the spring. So, you can... Like, okay... Like, I don't remember exactly, but it's supposed to be, like, Legend of the Zelda status, where if you throw it in, then, um, good, like, it comes back stronger, or you get some other stuff, you know? Okay, so I will grab the... The hammer. Okay. I will grab the hammer. Okay, so I forget how exactly to get food here. Oh, this is, um... Whoops, I can't read that. Current material. So, what you're supposed to do with that... Oh, hold on. I got my hoe here. Actually, I should get my, my wood. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You, so I'm going to leave, and I'm going to go to the juice bar, flower shop, carpenter, church, tool shop, um, animal shop, restaurant, tool shop. I want to go to the flower shop. We want to get some crops in, right? Welcome, Mabby. Come in. Turn up seeds, potato, and grass. So grass is for, like, you know, um, your cows and stuff to eat. We want to good you can harvest it. Potato, it takes a while to grow. The easiest thing is obviously turn up. So we'll purchase a bunch of these. They grow fast, but are not worth much. But better than nothing, right? So I'm going to purchase as much as I can. I won't go from that. I have 500 bucks, so 480 is good enough. So we have four. All right, so make sure you water them every day. Since so is your first purchase, I will give you this water can. Wow, thank you. Thank you, lady. Keep up. So the water can should be at the house. So here's the juice bar, which I don't believe it's open right now. The carpenter is to increase your, your house. So material, I can, I can purchase material. Expansion and your fence. 50 material for 500. Now that's pretty much wood. And you can go ahead and get wood on your ranch. Over time, like pieces of wood show up and you just chop it up and then we get to so get it. Okay, so if we, ex I'll let you know the cost and material needed for the job. <laughs> He's gonna go to the house and I'll be like, nope, sorry, can't do it. And here's the church. Uh, good afternoon, how can I help you today? You can pray and fortune telling, so let's just pray. You have a righteous heart and soul, please come in and join the service. Someday your prayers will be heard by the harvest goddess. So there are like little small things they don't tell you, but you know, I have, I have not touched this game since I played it originally on my Game Boy, and I want to say 20 years ago. Pretty much almost, maybe 18 years ago is when I played this game last. Tool shop. So, okay, we don't need the milk coat nor the brush right now. I'm just going through all these to see what we need. This is the restaurant. So you can go ahead and eat something when you're hungry, obviously. And then we have the animal shop for later. Okay, so here we go. There we go. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go ahead and actually move this around. And we are going to fix up this area. I'm going to put my crops over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hoe this. One, two, three, four, five. So I don't remember exactly how your character is supposed to, you're supposed to hammer that. It's supposed to get stronger. <gasps> Ooh, we found money. How much money was that? Okay. Oops. Oh, my character eats over time. Okay, 70 bucks. I don't remember how much money we had, but there you go. Okay, hammer. This is my hoe. So I wouldn't just hoe this stuff. So you do get like upgrades later, and you get like a sprinkler. I remember you get a sprinkler and stuff. Uh, from what I recall, when you throw down your seeds, you want to stand in a 3x3 three three in the middle, and it should like, you know, do all the 3x3. Three three. So we're going to go ahead and do a bunch of this stuff. And here is my axe. No, hammer. So I want to break this down. Kaboom! So does that give me material? I don't recall if it does. Da -da 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 -da. No, zero. So it's just for getting it out of the way, I suppose. Which is better than nothing. Kaboom! Kaboom! Alright, let's go grab ourselves some turnips and watering can, huh? Okay, so let's swap out... Let's swap out the hammer. I think you can have three weapons. Uh, three weapons. Three items in. Here's my empty hand. No, you cannot. Um, okay. Okay, here we go. Dur, dur, dur. Okay, let's test this out. Let's get the turnips in my hand. I'm gonna stand right here, and I'm gonna throw it. 
Yeah, there you go. Three by three. Am I standing in the right area? It's kind of hard to tell. Perfect. All right, cool. So I have two more seeds. Let's go ahead and do another three by three. Simple, nice, and easy. And then, oh, oh, look at that. Character's getting a little tired. So we don't have a health bar, but you do have visual cues. You know, he will get exhausted, crazy tired. Oh my god, look at that. Okay. Ooh. There are no shipment for today. We'll see you tomorrow. Looks like it's 5 p.m. You gotta press select to see what time it is 5 p.m. So very, very bare bones this game, but all my character's almost tired. I think when he gets super crazy tired and he's done, he will like spin around and be like, oh, I'm done. I'm done for the day. I can't do it no more. So you gotta make sure that I can at least water everything. Oh, it's getting super dark. There you go. I ate, so my stamina is up a little bit more. All right. Yeah, the days end fast. It ended really fast. We gotta water right away. Okay. So I think we picked up something. Hold on. Let's see. Like we hoed something and we got something. I don't know what we got. It could have been like material or maybe even feed. Okay, so I gotta um, put water in the watering can. There you go. And we gotta fill this up. Now this is a very, very tedious. Until you get the sprinkler, this is all you have and you have to like go like this. Which sucks. But yeah, I think over time your stamina will increase. Not sure if it's this game or another game. But definitely, you know, there's hot springs later you can use and stuff like that. So, uh, what do you guys think of Harvest Moon? <laughs> the first, one of the first ever Harvest Moons. I don't know what exactly is the first Harvest Moon to ever come out. For all I know, it could be this one. My, my, my guy is like totally done. Look at that. I think he's got a couple of more watering in him. But I totally, look at that. He has like no stamina starting off. Are you telling me I can't do... A nice, oops, okay, hold on, oh, oh, like, okay, how many, three, six, oh, that's it, that's it, he's done, he's done for the day, I can't do anymore, feels bad, so, um, it's 10 p.m., let's go to sleep, <laughs> what a day, I went to the, we had a good day, I'm gonna pick up B Billy here, buy me, and do all that good stuff, <laughs> alright, let's sleep it off, go to sleep, and then it saves automatically every single day for you, and you go eat in the morning, okay, so I told this guy to come over so we can see how much money we need for an expansion. Hey mommy, so this is the house you want to expand. 2,500, 100 materials. No thank you. Oh, I see. Bye then. Yeah, we gotta go. Alright, so the, the most important thing, I guess, is going to be just watering the stuff here. Uh, so I hope everyone's having a wonderful, awesome day. I decided to start the series, and I think I'm going to call it an evening with Mobby because I'm going to be uploading it around nighttime for most people. Um, maybe f like 4 p.m. my time. Oh, I'm out of water. So 4 p.m. my time um, might be 5, 6, 7, or 8 p.m. for some of you guys. And like I said, it's going to be every once in a while. And I'll try new games, uh, but like, you know. But I want to do old games as well, and they're most definitely going to be like one-off types of games like this. Just so I can play games of my past, and play games that I have really never played before. And if we get some really good reception, good criticism, and people would like to maybe watch me play the whole thing, or even more, I could definitely uh, maybe do some live streams of these later and maybe even finish them on the secondary channel. Because for instance, if I play Harvest Moon, there's no way that I'm gonna have like a hundred parts of this on my regular channel, you know? I would have maybe hour-long segments and I would put them on the other channel, my VOD channel, so there you go. Okay, so after I'm done watering, we have nothing to do but maybe fix up the rest of my ranch, show you guys how large it is, and then go from there. So I don't, maybe this spring is available now, I'm not entirely sure. So we ate a little bit, we got a little bit back. Um, I think I should be sickling these, but I usually pick them up. Um, I, I don't remember if I should be sickling them, but then again, you know, who knows. Let's get this out of the way. So we can like, put that here, we can go in the back of the house. We get, you, I believe you do get a horse later in this game. Look at that, the, 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 the house, you know, the farm is pretty big, you're gonna wanna definitely get rid of this stuff later. Um, let's just look around. Um, luckily running around doesn't really mess with your stamina bar at all, so you're good to go. So this is it. Very nice and simple, and there's another watering thing there. <laughs> Make, like, playing this game, it makes me so happy, dude, because, you know, I used to play this so much. I actually have more hours on this game in my life than probably, um, Stardew Valley. And, uh, you know, that's something, so it's very, very, very simple. Um, the progression is slow, but fun. 
Okay, so while that is, there's nothing to do there with the watering can. Let's go ahead and see if we can get our sickle. And let's see, let's get rid of the watering can and go for the axe. So I'm not sure if I can break down, I can break, break, I can break this down, right? Okay, uh, let's see here. So with this, you can put this in here and it counts as one material, definitely. I remember doing that. And you can take them out as you see fit. There are no shipments for today. We'll see you tomorrow. Well, sorry, I don't have anything, man. I think you can put like, like I think you could put this in here. No, it just breaks. What's this do? Pickup is at five every day from the trader. What time is it? Five p.m. already. Okay, so I'm gonna get my axe here and see if we can break this. Now you can hear that noise, blink, blink. So I don't think it's working. Um, this axe is only gonna be here, I guess, to shoot down like some of the other crap here. So I'm gonna break these. And I believe this is going to give me, not material, but perhaps, you know, fodder and grass. Otherwise, what else is sickles for, right? So let's go ahead and check if that is the case. Um, let's see here. Current fodder, zero pieces. What is the sickle for? I don't remember. Uh, feeding stall every single day. Oops, chop that up. Take fodder. This is where the chickens go. <laughs> very, very awesome. Alright, there's not much left to do, so let us just organize this place a little bit. Character's really, really tired. I can't do anything until I fix up... You know what? Let's go ahead and try something. Okay, I'm gonna go down to these forest fools over here. And I'm gonna throw a tool into here and see what happens. I'm gonna throw my axe and see if it powers up. How to throw it. I actually don't know how to throw it. Don't throw objects in the spring. I believe you might like pick it up or something. Actually not sure how to throw it. You're gonna wanna hammer that later, but we don't have a good hammer for now. So I don't remember how to do this. There's a lot of stuff I do remember, but some stuff I just I just don't recall. Oh, there's another right side over here. Oh, this is the spring, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good for muscle pains and stamina recovery. So if your character is like super tired, you just chillax here for a little bit. I'm not sure how long you have to wait. But you might just be able to go in and out, and you are refreshed somewhat. So there you go. And this is for extra stuff in here to throw in there. This left side, you're supposed to break it later. Use the pickaxe to pass through here. So there is a small progression and exploration, but that's for later. We need money first, so you gotta just chillax. Nothing to do, really. Wait till the next day. It sucks because last, uh, you know, day one, we weren't able to, um, what's it called? We weren't able to water everything because our character was super tired from just um, putting it down, which is kind of crap. So I'm going to go ahead and be super tedious and do this. And yeah, this game is really tedious. You have to do one by one. Up and down like this. There's no way to move this thing. And I do believe there is no way to move the shipment box, at least not in this version. Um, I believe for the Game Boy Color, there's Harvest Moon 2 and 3. I've never played those, so I, I don't know what kind of, like, additions they add. Uh, but that's it. Okay. Let's sleep it off. So that was two days of, um, two days of watering. Let's see if it grows, if it's grown yet. Okay. Let's see. Ah, it's growing a little bit. You see? Now, here's the bad part about this game, I remember. You can't walk over and, um water the middle one which sucks like i don't know why they have that i should be able to walk over it but no i'm stuck here and i cannot water the you know the middle one which sucks i remember what i used to do now i put them too close to each other i'm not going to be able to water some of the rows here which kind of suck like like the three in the middle and the three in the sides i, I should not have done that so next time I'm definitely going to want to space it out with at least one block in between each of these. So, a little bad thing that I just recalled. <laughs> I should have known. I should have known. It's all good. Alright, so yes, I hope your stamina does increase over time. There's nothing else I can do, I think, besides, um, you know, cleaning up my farm by like getting rid of some of the things. Oh, I really wish I knew what the sickle did, but I think the grass is just grass. The sickle might just be there to... Um, I mean, sorry, the weeds are just weeds. I could maybe use it to harvest grass. Yeah, that's that's probably what it's there for, huh? 
Yeah, so if you guys have any suggestions of games that you want me to play, absolutely let me know down below. You know, I usually don't take suggestions for series, like long series, but for one-off games, you know, Evening with Mobby, definitely I'll, I'll, you know, I would love some suggestions. So I can't water even that one there. All right, you guys ready for me to fix up the area here? Oh my God, my character is tired as balls, dude. Um, I'm gonna sickle anyway, because like I said, if we're able to um, upgrade our stamina just by doing stuff every day, why the hell not, right? And there's nothing else. I mean, it doesn't use up stamina to pick stuff up, so no problem. Chook, chook, chook. Yeah, sickle everything. Oh baby, oh baby. So really nothing to do. So as soon as my character's tired, I'll probably just sleep. Really? Okay, there's another water area here. Alright, here we show tired. Look at him go. Da, da, da. So I can't really do much with these rocks. So I'm gonna move them in position, and then I can I can uh, rock them later. I can smack them with the hammer. And these ones, like I said, doesn't take up anything. We're gonna do this. I just want to clear out just the left side of my area here. I don't think because uh, you know we're not gonna play this too much. Just to show you guys a little preview of how my childhood games are like. <laughs> my first system was actually a Super Nintendo, and lately, you know. Um, we did have an NES, but then, um, you know, our parents were from the Philippines, so we had a we had a Nintendo, we had a Genesis, and a Super I mean, a Super Nintendo. My parents gave the Nintendo and the Genesis to Philippines, so we were stuck with the 64 uh, with the Super Nintendo and stuff. So I do remember playing a little bit of Genesis. I never really played the Nintendo we had. Um, you know, probably too young for that. Uh, it's pretty fun. And uh, this is obviously my first uh, mobile console, <laughs> my handheld console. And yeah, I had played games like Paperboy. Um, I had oh no, okay, we had Paperboy. It was wait, Tetris, obviously Tetris is a good, freaking classic, dude. Um, Harvest Moon. I had the original Pokemon's black and white, red version. That's so cool. There's a lot of games. Okay. Let's do one more piece of material in here. So it sucks, you need so many pieces of material, but whatever. once you can chop it up, you're good to go. Okay, this is where your horse goes, by the way. Stable, yeah, you can get that later. I believe your horse comes randomly, and then like it just shows up to your house or something like that. Fire recall. Okay, I'll do a couple of more. Couple of more. Okay, let's sleep it off. I, I don't know how much money we get per, you're gonna have to like check it out. Oh, look, there's a phone here. Exchange? What's this do? Oh, Ranch Central. What is this? I will look for a friend for you. Please press the A button. Oh, son of a beezy. This is for connecting your, um, you know, your stuff. There's money in the drawer. Grandpa's rainy day money is mine now. Receive a thousand bucks. It's a thousand bucks in there. <sighs> I did not know that. What's this do? Don't touch the plant. Hmm, I wonder if this was Grandpa's plant. Maybe you can water this. Probably not. All right, Billy, come on, let's go outside. You know, one of the best things about this game is you actually want it to rain. Because if it rains, you don't have to water anything. <laughs> it's, and all the ones in the middle are watered as well. So it's awesome. It's pretty awesome if everything's watered up. Okay. Let's see, throw this over here, throw this over here, throw that down, and let's water these fools. Okay, so we have a thousand bucks. I think I'm going to go check out the shops again, and maybe probably get a little bit more um, crops, I guess. These things should grow. They are one day ahead of these ones that popped up today. Hey, Billy, how you doing? Oh, you're so cute, Billy. What are you doing there, buddy? You're staring at the water? Billy? B Billy? Billy's not moving. That's how I'm gonna spell Billy, right guys? B-I-L-Y. It's Bailey. It's Bailey. Billy? Billy? Here's some water, Billy. Oh, you're so freak cute. Alright, let's see what we got here. Flower shop, animal shop, restaurant, tool shop. Does he have any new tools? No new tools. Da, 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 da. All right, carpenter, juice, juice bar, desu. How are you today? Buy a cow, cow feed, cow medicine, 
and potion. Medicine potion if they're sick. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy a chick. Actually, we need grass before that, so I can't really feed them. Because we don't have enough money to, uh, to keep it up. So I think I'm gonna buy some grass. Yeah. I'll buy a little bit of grass. Feed your animals. How many do you want? Dang. I only I can afford that. Ooh, that's very expensive. 500 gold for a bag. Now, bad news. I don't remember if you have to till the ground for this. Or if you can just throw the grass on the ground, you know? Um, so I... I really hope you don't have... Like, you have to till it. Because I, I can potentially, and I'm probably going to waste one bag here. It's a 50-50 shot. Either you till the ground, and you throw the grass on it, or it's untilled. And it throws in a 3x3. Three three. Um, it's been so long since I've played, and there's some things I remember, and some things like that, which I certainly do not. So get ready. It's either going to be a waste of 500, or one of the best things to have it happen. Alright, here we go. Let's gonna move this over here. Alright, let's go in here and grab our grass seeds. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna... Actually, let's let's try tilling it. Let's let's try, huh? Wouldn't hurt. Okay. Oh god. Okay, let's put this away. And I think I believe you do not have the water, the grass seeds at all. Pretty sure. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna open them a nice little three by three here. One. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. Uno. Dos. Tres. Okay. Here we go. You guys, ready? The moment of truth. Press. Good. Thank God. Alright, here we go. So we're gonna have a nice, nice, nice area here. And, you know, I did say I want to space, at least put one block in between it. But I don't think you water them. Even if you do water them, you can walk on it anyway. So I, I know for sure, like, that's okay. There is no shipment today. Well, tomorrow, man. I'll have your shipment tomorrow. <laughs> you calm yourself. So once we have a bunch of grass and feed ready, then we can maybe, once, you know, maybe get enough money, we get a cow, we get some more money coming in. Alright, let's, let's, let's see if we need to water it. Alright, there we go. You can see that? It's not changing, so you don't need it. Good, 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 good. So, you can see here, this is uh, not really a road road. It's kind of like a, uh, a tilled road. You can hammer it to change it back to regular, or you can, you know, till everything and make it your own. Alright, let's sleep it off, and uh, we'll see what's going on. Hopefully it rains, and hopefully it's done with the uh, with the stuff. If only I got grandpa's money first, I would have got so much turn up. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's ready, boys. It's ready. Now, this is the most tedious part of the game. One, two, pretty sure. Uh, later harvest moons and stuff make it a lot more easier. But uh, this is the one that I remember. Look at that sprite. It's amazing. Okay, so let's put this money in and see how much money we're gonna get out of this. So we can go ahead. And, I, I should have counted how much I put in there. No, I can still count it. Hold on. I can do a little bit of maths. Wait till 5 p.m. and let's see how much money we get. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I'm just putting in 10. So my, just minus just minus 170 out of my of the money I get later, and then we're Gucci. Okay, let's water this. So whatever I get minus 170, and then divide that by 10, and then that's how much we get per each. So I believe the bag for nine turnips was 120, right? I could actually purchase another one right now. It's okay. Hmm. I think, you know, if you're not really doing anything else in the game, one thing that might be nice is to just randomly till areas. Because I did get, like, a little bit of money, and I think I got, like, a bag of something from there. Maybe it's material. Um, but yeah, you just have to do this until you get a bunch of money. And then, unless you got Nintendo Power or the internet, um, you're not going to know how to upgrade your stuff. You just kind of experiments. You know, the spirit gnomes and whatnot. Oh, you got to upgrade your, your stuff somehow. Oh, I don't know how. Oh. I'll figure it out, because I don't know how to throw my items into there. Like, I don't know. I really wish I knew, because I want to upgrade this axe. I'll try this again. I also to take a little take a little step in here. Whee! Just chillax. Mm, chillax in my nice little tub, yo. Alright. 
Do you guys have any other like tips for me or what? I wish to throw this in there. Come on, throw it in there, throw it in there. It's not letting me. There's nothing I can do to throw it. Hmm. Good evening, humans. Wait. Beat this way, don't they? So I can't do anything yet. Ugh. I don't know. I think I have to expand your house or something. Oh crap! I forgot that these you can use these. Oh my god, I messed up. You can get a little bit of money from that. Crap! My bad. Oh my god! I should have known. I should have known, Mobby, you fool. All right, 12 p.m. Here we go, guys. Let's we'll see how much money we make in a second. Let's go ahead and break some rocks while we're waiting. Uh, I've been working on. If only like real life was as easy as this. Every single day, you just. I mean, kinda is, but you know, you don't have. You know, it's just not available to everybody. <laughs> so I can't break this. Oh no, you can. This one just takes a while though. But if it makes the chink noise, it ain't gonna work. So this one should be able to. Yeah, this one should break definitely. I won't be able to do that. How you doing, Billy? <laughs> Hi, little Billy. You're so cute. Oh my god, Billy. Billy. Okay, how many, um... Crap, it's gonna mess up with my with my money, though, because I don't know how many, um... How many of those berries I put inside of the, the shipment. I think two berries went inside there. Anyway, 3 p.m. Let's wait a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. I'm just gonna till around a little bit. Maybe get something. Make a little bit of a road here, you know? The road is a little darker. Oh, some money. Uh, how much money was that? Okay, I found I had 170. Oh crap! Oh, 800 bucks. The money will be transferred tomorrow, and that's that's it. 800 bucks, and I could purchase a lot more. And there you go. Just, you just I still have a crap ton more. So I don't know how much of those berries that I really don't. But we put in 10 turnips and whatnot. <laughs> so simple game. That's all. Just wanted to give you guys a little preview of the first Harvest Moon that I played, Harvest Moon, for the Game Boy. And of course, there is a remake of this for the Game Boy Color. So I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like. It helps so much. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. I upload a lot of daily videos. This is the first episode in the freaking Evening with Mobby series. And welcome to back. Welcome back. Also, every episode I'll probably say like, Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of An Evening with Mobby. I am your host for the night, Mobby. And today we're going to play blah, 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 blah. I'll probably do that. So this was number one. And I will have a playlist down below if you guys wish to see any of the future games that I play for the Mobby, um, for the Evening with Mobby series. And I would super love if you guys would give me your suggestions of new games, um, games, you know, retro games, and games that you've played when you were younger, and I can do a small little standalone video like this. So it's, it's nice to just have some crad random variety on the channel. You know, I've been doing series, but I, I like one-offs as well. So that was it. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.